Who does economics tell us we are? To make humanity fit into their theories, last century's economists invented rational economic man. He stands alone, with money in his hand, a calculator in his head, ego in his heart, and nature at his feet. He hates work, loves luxury, has insatiable wants, and knows the price of everything. But the trouble is this. On being told that he is like us, we actually become more like him. Researchers have discovered that the more that economic students study this homo economicus, the more self-interested they become. Rational economic man is damaging our societies and the living world. We can no longer afford to gaze at his image, which is why it's time for a new portrait of humanity at the heart of economics. One which recognises that our brains are wired for empathy, cooperation and mutual aid. That instead of being fixed, our wants change as and when our values do. And far from being dominant over nature, we're deeply dependent upon her. With these new beginnings of a self-portrait, how can economics start to nurture human nature and give us a far greater chance of thriving in the 21st century?